not great is it not great at all return every ah, press the wrong button press as as you as you can see everything has become so professional since i had 10,000 subscribers yes Day, day before maybe oh, let's on here. yes guys yes guys yes guys yes guys it's 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 bright it's bright it's bright outside this is the problem guys good evening everybody i i think it's friday so that means that we are live on woolies friday night live guys and i would just like to say hello and welcome to uh to our ten thousand subscriber ten thousand subscribers guys jesus christ i'm almighty 63 degrees north how's it going buddy Ten thousand subscribers oh mental that is absolutely here he comes cooter's probably outside Ten thousand. hey isn't isn't it mad like like it's just mad how many of those are actually active on the channel i do not know but there's ten thousand subscribers <laughs> <laughs> guys i'm gonna to have to pull up some statistics peppy how's it going brad how's it going uh greetings from south armagh to north georgia let me let me pull up some statistics guys uh and and uh, while i'm talking we'll have we'll, we'll talk about some mental statistics right i'm going to go back never mind this last 28 days stuff i'm going to go to lifetime the lifetime of my channel which started on the 22nd of november 2011 but that is not when i uploaded my uh my first video okay so guys in when did i when did i probably upload my first video hard to tell do you know that it's hard to tell it's really really hard to tell my most watched video in that time guys is the fiskers versus the husqvarna axe video can you believe that and how to sharpen the chainsaw the dremel chainsaw sharpener guys and that video is eight years old it's eight years old that is mental okay so that was uploaded in the 22nd of may 2016 So I would say that we are looking at January 2016 from the start was the start date of my channel, guys, which is absolutely mental. 2016, so we're eight years going, guys. We have 2.7 million views. We have 105,000 hours of watch time. We have 10,000 subscribers. And you wanna hear the big one? In all those years, guys, in all those years, how much money do you think I, I have made from, from YouTube? Get, get your guesses down below. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up on things. I, I have a different screen open at the minute, so I'll, I'll catch up on things. So hello, Ben. Hello, Chippy. Hello, Tom. 24 Outdoors, Brad. Peppy, John Arnett. Uh, guys, how much do you think? Tom, how's it going? Mama Taz, how's it going? How much do you think? something happened there it's crazy just to, there's like one day we're just to, to, we're, oh, do you know what that probably is that is probably when i put up my uh my what do you call it yeah my off-grid cabin video wow people like carhartt videos as well do you know that guys get your well, how much do you think how much do you think Total, I'm talking a total here. In eight years on YouTube, what do you think is the total amount of estimated revenue? It's estimated now. From a little old channel like mine that took eight years to get the 10,000 subs. <laughs> Jesus, Ben. <laughs> I'll, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. 
people say to me, oh my God, you must be making so much money off YouTube. Ready? In eight years. Did you see that? <laughs> Bruno, what are you doing? Yes, guys, £5,760 in eight years. That's that's bizarre when you think of it like that, isn't it? For doing what? Yes, exactly, Tom. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Divide that by eight. Ah, sure, look, this, this is just the way it is. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. £720 a year equals £13 a week. £13 a week. <laughs> How much ice cream can you buy for £13? You can probably get about three ice creams for £13 at this stage. Uh, free access for everybody. Yay! It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But hey, if I was pulling in 40,000 subscribers, how much do you think it would be? You, you could probably, I I would say if people were on about 100,000 subscribers, you're probably earning about that a month, I would say. But anyway, that is not what it's about. That is not what today is about. It just happened to be something that came up there, and I thought that it would was interesting, interesting. So what do you think most watched video Axes or chainsaws or Carhartt? What do you reckon? Zachary, how's it going? Come on, get your guesses in. Get your guesses in. I, I've done random videos. You know, I have... Yeah, I've, I've, I've limited the amount of random videos that I do on the channel now. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's sort of... Out Dory woodworking chainsawing type thing. Uh, so, what would you think? Hey, Bruno. Well, bum bum. You coming up and say hello? Uh, Dream Chaser. This is that is the wrong channel. No, come up, up. Come on, come on then. Come on, you're nearly there. Up you come. Up you come, Bruno. Come on, come on, come. Oh, this, you're just making this work. Just making this work worse. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, get it relax. It's like you get up here and you get frightened. What are you frightened of? Say hello to everybody. Oh, you just burped on me. What? 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 What is it? Oh, Bruno, stick your breath. Good boy. Uh, the Handyland Man, how's it going? Anything with Bruno in it. Bruno is 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 not in that many uh, Woolies World videos, is he? He's definitely not in as many of, 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 as Red Branch videos. He's in a lot of Red Branch videos. Uh, let me just see. Guys, top three videos of all time. Top video of all time with 87,000 views. Uh, which is a three-year-old video, is the Husqvarna S2800 versus the Fiskars X25, right? Second highest rated watched video, uh, highest views. It's got 78,000 views, and it's not a professional nine. It's one of the shorts, guys. Do you remember I used to do the shorts of me cutting down trees and stuff? Uh, I, used, I, I used to do the little things from the... Uh, from the... the, 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 the I used to put up the shorts, remember? Yeah. Third guys with seventy-seven thousand views, and this is one of my. This is when I started doing chainsaw videos on Molly's World, guys, because it used to be about bushcraft. That's that's the thing. It used to just sort of be about everything, and it's how to sharpen a chainsaw, the Dremel chainsaw sharpener video, guys, and it is another terrible video shot on a really bad camera, really bad. And I have I have remade that video so many times, and it's still just this video was my number one video for years and years and years, guys. 
And after that, it is the Carhartt Bartlett jacket. Is this the best work jacket ever made at 65,000 views? So I have no videos that have made 100,000 views. Isn't that crazy? It is, it's, it, it's, it's crazy. Like 2.7 million views, 2.7 million views. Guys, I have a thousand videos, a thousand videos. Let me see now if this, 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 this mightn't even uh, populate because it's, it's so, uh, published content. Guys, I have 700 and, 89 videos i have 199 live streams and 193 shorts that's crazy crazy <laughs> wait here it is so my videos have brought in plus 6,000 subscribers my shorts have brought in plus 1,000 subscribers and my live streams minus 17. <laughs> That's mental. Oh, remixes. People have been remixing my content. Not a lot, I have to say. Not a lot. Yeah, so I actually started on... My first new, my first viewer, my first subscriber was on. No, no, that's right. Yeah, I don't understand that. I don't understand a lot of that stuff. Yeah, so I'm definitely not, not, not going to be a YouTube millionaire anytime soon, hey. let us go back and let us talk to everybody how is everybody getting on uh thank you very much uh dream dream chaser that's what that's for uh no i sorry i'm just i'm just i have grant i have uh i have another screen opening there i was going through some statistics from the channel going way back eight years ago can you believe that it's 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 crazy 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 Well, Chippy, this is the thing. I was exactly the same. So uh, I I would have had, uh, I, I would have been uploading videos that nobody would have watched for a long time, right? I am the absolute master of doing everything wrong on YouTube. I am really good at doing everything wrong. So the exact number now is uh, 10,030. 10,030, and there's fireworks going off on the screen when I click into it. There's 10,030 subscribers. That's crazy. It's like that they, uh, let me go to analytics. Bookings shout out, guys. I can, I can. Bookings shout out on Sunday brought in 80 sub sub subscribers. 80 subscribers can you believe that like and that was that was uh i i i knew he was going to do it but i i just didn't think that it was going because we have been chatting two days previous and we were going on about uh i, I was telling him how close it was to ten thousand and stuff like that and because we, we would chat often enough believe it or not uh because uh because i've i i have been one of his subscribers for a long time and 80 subscribers guys jesus christ on a live stream as well do you know what i mean so you, you you don't get a lot of people who will leave a live stream to go do something else this is this is what i bet you know you know yourself right you know i post links to a video down down below in the chat box how many how many of you actually go and watch the video do you know what i mean and it's not i'm not giving out or anything it's just the way it is so i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it like he just and he, it was just uh he he was so nice wow Pappy, that's brilliant it's 
Thank you, Candy Piker. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know the, the collabs is tough, right? Grant, the collabs is a great idea, but it's it's tough because there's there's no other you I don't know of any other YouTubers doing the same sort of stuff here, right? Well, I haven't come across any. Uh so it's like it's it's uh it's, it's sort of easier with Red Branch Bushcraft than it is with Woody's Word. I don't know how I would do a collab. You know, it would sort of it would sort of have to be pre, a prearranged recording that is sent and and edited together somehow. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure it can be done. Like I'm sure I'm sure it's not it's not that big of a deal. But uh, you know, it it is definitely easier for some of you guys in the states who can get in the car and drive to somebody. You know. Or in in Canada or the States, but uh, it's something I want to work on. There's a couple of people for Red Branch that are local enough to me, uh, and believe it or not, I have uh, I might have a wee collab going with a guy in New York, but that's sort of gear sharing. So what what you get on because because the gear and stuff like that on the Red Branch Bushcraft channel is so accessible, you know, you're 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 you're, you're setting fair rods or you're setting tarps or something like that you know there's there's a hell of a difference between sticking something like this in the post and sticking a chainsaw in the post you know what i mean so or an axe so thomas mcnostrel how's it going pat what's the crack yes i have a million dollar beard goats how's it going thank you very much goats Yes, so what I'm looking at for 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 I'm I'm looking for my twenty thousand subscriber video to coincide with my fifty sixth birthday. <laughs> I think I'll have it made then. I'll have it sussed. So this this is the thing, right? Thanks, Thomas. Uh, th this is the thing. So uh, when I when I started YouTube, when I started the YouTube channel, guys, YouTube was not like it is now. Oh my God, it's so it's so crazy. Yeah, thanks, Grant. Uh, oh, nice, Pappy. Crazy, an earthquake. Now, here's the thing, Chevy. Canada is on hold. Possibly for two years. Dun, dun, dun. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't want to put it out there until uh until uh, until I had spoken to the people that we were going to go stay with. So uh it is uh we we, we have we have Kids starting into big parts of not big is the wrong thing. They're starting into exam years and stuff like that. So we can't take the same holidays as as we uh, as we could. Do you know what I mean? So uh, this is the thing. Yeah. So that is the plan at this stage. But look, plans change. We never know. You never know. So we we had originally planned on going two years ago. You know, and th three years ago even we were going the year the COVID hit. We we're going that year. So four earthquakes. Israel, London. I didn't hear anything about one in London, New Jersey, and one in Istanbul as well. And then there was Singapore during the week. Uh I another live stream. Yeah, I didn't even understand what you meant. Don't I didn't have a clue. <laughs> In two years, we might be speaking Russian. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. This is it. So ev everything's changed. So so Lily Lily's getting into exam time and stuff like that. So everything's just a little bit up in the air, and and basically. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are planning on traveling this year, but the price of flights is, is, has quadrupled. It's just they're so expensive. 
So maybe something that would have cost us maybe five hundred pound each return is like thirteen, fourteen hundred pound each return. So uh, no, I don't think we will either, Grant. I think we, we find it hard enough to speak English over here. So uh, it's it, it it's crazy. But look, these these things will happen when they're supposed to happen. That's that's just the way it is. Uh, but it's mad. It's mad, isn't it? Who would have thought? Like. Wrong channel, Donut. Wrong channel. First of the factory video would go down like a lead balloon on this channel. Nobody would watch it. So, any damage, Pat? So, this, this is the thing, right? So, di this is what I learned. The overriding lesson that I've learned in all the mistakes that I've made on YouTube, guys. Uh... See, Jimmy, I'm a teetotaler. I don't, I don't drink. <laughs> uh, so, so this is this is what I discovered, right? So, when I started, I did. I remember I was doing stuff about bushcraft and a little bit about knives. And my first ever ever video was actually one that I put up where I I uh, I pretended to shoot Siobhan with a BB gun, right? uh <laughs> thanks <Simon. laughs> and uh i i says um, um, we were living in Ackle island at the time that is how long ago that is jesus that's has to be more than eight years ago then and uh, it doesn't even show on on my videos anymore it's that long ago i don't know if you guys have any let me see if i can find it come on i have to be able to find it don't i The first video that comes up on my channel is the 30th of April, 2015. That's nine years ago. I, I have been doing, I was doing YouTube before that. Let me see now. Yeah, it doesn't go back any further than that, guys. And I did a little bit prepping for winter, seasoning and storing firewood was my first video. Then I did one on the McCullough CS30, and that has got 20,000 views. And they are these are shocking videos. Condor bush lure, camelback mother load, Husqvarna, 435X torque chainsaw, guys, 33,000 views, 22nd of May, 25th of April, 2016. My God. A lot of bushcraft stuff, guys. A lot of bushcraft stuff. Uh, and there's one there. Amazing chainsaw hack. Rototech bar and chain oil. Guys, wait until you hear this, right? So I, I used to do a little bit of stuff. I, I'm a chancer. I'm an absolute chancer. Grant, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Grant. Uh, I uh, you've told me a bit, Grant. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, I am a chancer, right? I I have reviewed stuff on all my channels all the time, right? It is harder to review stuff on a chainsaw channel than it is on a bushcraft channel, obviously, because the the world is full of bushcraft and camping equipment. As Chinese companies make tons of it, and they want people to check it, so. Uh, I um I I did this review on Rototech bar and chain oil, right? So I had Rototech chains. I emailed Rototech and said, "I am a YouTuber. Do you want to send me something to review for my channel?" And they sent me a a, a, a one liter thing of bar oil, right? So I did a review of it and posted the video, and they had a contest to see whoever posted. So, you, you, you tagged them in the social media and if you won you got a 50 pound voucher for their website right so i uploaded the video and tagged them in it and i won <laughs> but they had sent me the stuff for free anyway so <laughs> 50 quid nice but here i uploaded whatever i wanted this is it i'd be way off Take out with a camera, walking down the road, talking absolute poo-poo, 
just recording it, upload, record, upload, record, upload, and it just the the channel went nowhere, went absolutely nowhere. Nothing happened. Uh, and it was because it, it is like this. So what? There's 11 people on there, right? 50-50, you know, say say five years are into chainsaws and, f and, and, and six years are into bushcraft. Uh, they, they, they go, you know, so I put up a bushcraft video and five years watch it, right? The next video I put up was about chainsaws, guys. And those five don't watch it, right? And then YouTube goes, oh, we don't know what to do because all these people are on this channel, but half of them's not watching it. So what do we do? Who do we show this stuff to? Do we show this to people who are into bushcraft or do we show it to people who are into chainsaws? So this is what happens. So this is this is why when I come on a wee rant like this, I'm telling you, it's niche down, niche down. you got to keep doing the same stuff over and over again. That's it. You just, that's it. So. That is my tip. Uh, I don't think so, Ed. I don't think so. Uh, unless I make one myself. <laughs> I think the first plaque you get is at 100,000 subs. Which is nuts. 100,000 subs. Like. No, Peppy, but after this, I'm going to have some ice cream. My 10,000 sub ice cream. Two years, eh? Two years, Ed. Thanks, Pat. We just, just saw your post. The Rototech ladders are good, eh? I need a good ladder, but my ladders are expensive. So what have I been doing to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers? Nothing. I, I, I have been working. <laughs> I haven't done anything at all. I've been working. Uh, I have I have battened down the hatches for this storm. This, we're supposed to be getting a storm tomorrow. Uh, what I have discovered, Grant, I went through a big transition a couple of years ago, probably because of COVID and stuff like that, because I had more time. And dur during that time, I built community. A lot of the people that you see here in Grant in these comments and stuff would have sort of discovered the channel around that time. And because it was COVID and because I was at home, I uploaded one video a day for a year, right? And now I was doing bushcraft and, and, and everything, all different types of videos, but one video a day for a year. Uh, no problem, Ed. It was really good. <laughs> Yeah, so was Bruno, hey. Bruno came home and just went to sleep. Uh, I uh, I uploaded one video a day, right? And so what happened when you're uploading one video a day is that you see the same people in the comments all the time. And, and we just ended up having a really good rapport, didn't we? Like, you know, so there was a really nice community and stuff about the channel. And not long after that, I, that's when I split the channels, right? So... That's when I stopped doing the the bushcraft on here, and I started Red Branch Bushcraft. So, uh, I know this is it. This is it, Chippy. You know, so like there was those pictures I put up of all that big, all that big beach firewood and stuff like that. Like, I, you know. They would have, that would have been really good content. That was basically just, you know, you know, just hammering the saw into that stuff. But there was a digger there. The camera would have got smashed. You know what I mean? So that's that's uh, th that's what would have happened. But this is the thing, Chippy. It's it's about finding your niche, right? It's about finding what people like. You know, how many of you have sat and watched uh, some somebody dig a hole with a digger? Do you know what I mean? How many of you have sat and watched somebody remove a dam? Do you know, I, I there was one stage in, in my life where I would sit and watch these dam busting videos. I would watch people remove beaver dams and stuff like that. And I would be there like, I'd be like, oh, this is a 25 minute video. I'm not watching this. 19 minutes later. Do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry. What? 
Oh, I don't know. Downstairs in the kitchen or in the in the front hall. Who's being attacked by spiders? Mm. Lily is being attacked by spiders. She's not really. She just doesn't like spiders. But uh, so what? What I did, Grant, was I I uh, because because I was always quieter in the winter. I actually sat down and ran through a whole load of programs. And I sat down and I uh, I recorded and shot videos in different ways. And I set them up with stories. And I had an intro, which which would have led into like a cliffhanger at the end of a 30-second intro. Then, then, you know, intro to the video. Oh, no. Oh, no. Something's happened. What am I going to do? Bang. You know, my intro, the Woolies World intro would start. And then the story would start and build right back up to that point again. Did a lot of storytelling and stuff like that. And it made absolutely no difference. <laughs> I think if if I had been doing stuff like that from the start, oh hey Bruno, if I had been doing stuff like that from the start, I think the fact that I I um, I think the fact that I was so random with my content was very damaging to the channel, very damaging to the channel. So much so that when I split the channels, I probably should have deleted Red Branch or Molly's World and started again. Uh, because Red Branch Bushcraft at the moment is only three years old and it's 400 subscribers behind Wally's World, right? So this is the, this, this, do you understand what I mean? Uh, Bruno, Bruno. So it's, it's, it's complicated and it's simple. This is the, this, this is the bottom line. And, I, I have sat and done thumbnails and I have done all that stuff. And what I have found is that if it doesn't matter how good your title is or your thumbnail is, if people don't find it interesting. So if people are not interested, like I, I, I would put up a gear review video. You want to grow, do gear review videos. This again, really? Oh, me nuts. Again. Look who it is. Look who it is, Ed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Get your paw up. You can't climb up with your paws on the ground. Come on. Come on. Up. Come on, fat bum. Up. Three, two, one. Ah. There he is. There he is. Ah. Oh. Stop. Nah. Where's Hamish? Where's Hamish? Where's Hamish? Oh, Bruno, go easy with the devil's club. Where's Hamish? What's Hamish doing? What's Hamish doing? Has he got the stick? Oh! <laughs> Don't be flashing your Mickey on the TV, Bruno. Oh! Does the dog work? I am a, a PR company. I'm my own PR company. What is a vertical live stream, Pappy? What, what's a vertical live stream? Is that, is that, is that like, just like this, like a short? Uh, no, uh, Grant, I've never, I've never tried them. Uh, I've never shot over them or anything like that. I don't. I don't go shooting enough to sort of warrant training them to be a gun dog. Do you know what I mean? And what what is the big thing about these uh, about these about these live streams like this? Why why are why are they such a big thing? Do you need a light, Siobhan? It's not here. I thought it was in the front hall. Poor girl's getting attacked by spiders. Great. Um, and, and, but is it like something special? I don't. I don't understand. 
But apparently now all these big companies are going to be contacting me and offering me thousands and thousands of pounds to 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 put on to make videos for you guys. And it's funny because I actually did get contacted. Uh, I did get contacted by a company looking to me to, looking me to do some stuff. Let me see. Now. Oh, a video editing. Ken uh, Keaton Live. Keaton Live. Never, I'd never heard of them before. Apparently, it's some sort of uh, editing software, and they, they wanted me to they wanted me to do something. Uh, oh yeah, 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 and like shorts and stuff like that as well. No sign of it, you want? It's not up here. That's where I go crazy. Yeah, Ach, you never know. Maybe I might do one in a live stream. Guys, I am expecting a couple of trees to come down at Red Branch tomorrow. Where uh, we we have a bit of a storm coming. Thank you very much, Bob. Good to see you. Oh, so your live can go into the shorts feed. Okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. I wonder what happens if I do this. Guys, this 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 all might go a little bit nuts. Okay, so here is the situation, guys. I am live on YouTube twice right now. <laughs> I'm live here. I'm live here. <laughs> so I I did it where I am live right now. So I am live vertical right now, guys. If you are watching this on the live vertical and you've just turned it on, this is my 10,000 subs live. Thank you very much. Uh, but I'm also live in standard over here. <laughs> I don't even know how this works. Nobody's watching on, on this one, but we have 14 people watching this one. So so this is the way it goes. So uh, I, I'm expecting some some damage to be done. So I was supposed to have two classes in tomorrow, but they're saying like 60 mile an hour winds. But I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Will we see 60 mile, 60, mile an hour, 60 mile an hour winds? Peppy, Tom, how's it going? Isn't this a bit mad? Isn't it? <laughs> Do you just get the look at my double chin? You just get the look at handsome old me up here. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I dismantled the red branch today. I took the parachute down and everything, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it just doesn't. Storm Kathleen! That's my ma's name. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, what? 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 I actually often thought about doing this, but doing a live on like uh, Instagram or something here at the same time as having it here. So you're live on the phone and live on the live on the do, 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 on the on the computer, which doesn't really make any sense, does it? Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Donut? That's a bit mad. <laughs> a bit mad like you know I'm, I'm 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 going to turn this one off hey wrong channel pat yeah we know i didn't we didn't get one flake of snow this year not not that i can remember right now this is the problem with doing stuff on my phone i never know how to turn it off now i'm just going to press this x button and see what happens are you sure you want to stop letting, streaming yes Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, that should be us just back to normal. One view, uh, two minutes, 14 seconds. We don't need to know all that stuff. There we go. So I have no idea how that will affect uh, anything else that is going on here. Do it on wet branch. You mean soaked branch. Genie macaroni. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, it was supposed to rain all week. We didn't get much. We got a lot of rain last night, but we didn't get much rain during the day. 
uh, and we uh, it's supposed to rain all night tonight. It's supposed to be very windy from like five in the morning. So I I decided that because there's a weather warning in place, if they put a weather warning in place around spring, autumn, spring or winter, uh, I, I, I cancel the work. Because it's too unpredictable. Now, a lot of the times it's okay. And I end up sitting in the house looking out the window going, why didn't I just go to work today? But uh, yeah, this is this this is what we get. So, uh, big M, thank you very much. Big love. Yes, ten thousand subscribers. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, I it, it was too complicated, Pappy. People were having seizures and everything. And the mushrooms were kicking in, and everybody was all over the place. So, so this is the thing. Ten thousand subscribers. Who would have taught it? Yeah, no. <laughs> look, look, there's no knickers hanging up or anything this week. <laughs> Guys, look, this is how close we get the mushrooms around here. Anybody know what they are? Come on, come on. Andy, how's it going? Thank you very much, Andy. Not Chaga. Not Chaga. Andy would know that quick enough, hey. Eh? Guys, I, I need a camp. I need a camp out. I haven't had one in ages. Here is the problem with, with, with a camp out video is that I seem I seem to have uh I seem to have, uh, I have no phone signal. I have no phone signal at all. Shiitake? Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, Ed. I, I think that too. Uh, I would like a, a, a campfire live stream. That would be very cool. A few creamy pints. Splitting the G, eh? Splitting the G. Not prairie oysters. Guys. That's cramp ball fungus. No? Nobody ever seen it before? King Alfred's cakes. They look like that on a tree. You open them up like that. That's what they're like on the inside. You, uh, you, you hit that bad boy with a spark and that will just glow in an ember. This is the only thing... That I ever found that you can you can just pull off the tree in nature, and uh, and and with no processing, you can put a spark on this with flint and steel, and it will go to life. Uh, I don't know, Big M. I don't know. Yeah, that's 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 my box. I don't take them down the red branch, you see. So I sort of keep some here. I take them down the red branch to show them to kids and stuff like that. Just just sort of like. As part of the fire lighting thing. So uh it sure does, Chippy. It sure does. What's 999? Horse hoof. Horse hoof fungus grant. I've just found the thorn that's been in my finger for about three weeks. Oh, guys, it's easy to get sidetracked around here, isn't it? So 10,000 subscribers, like, like. No, um, I, I haven't decided yet. I, I am still. Do you know what actually happened, to tell you the truth, is putting the Oregon speed cut system onto the top handle saw sort of threw me for a bit of a curve uh because all of a sudden it is a much more versatile saw if that if, if you understand what i mean so it's just so handy to use it's so handy to use 
and it's cutting down all the small trees that I needed to cut down, you know. Uh, you see, I think that might be a good idea, North. Get get a tackle meter. Thank you very much, Bosper. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, scandalous is right. Imagine. Imagine using a top handle chainsaw when having both feet on the ground. Imagine how dangerous that was. Somebody actually called me out on it in the comments as well. Called me a tool or something. I can't remember what they said. Uh, yeah, so bull rushes mixed with something are very good, but I would not like to open one inside a house. Right, I'm going to have to pick this off now. This is going to do my head in. Yes, I'm, I'm digging a... a I'm now digging this out of out of my finger. <laughs> I know. Imagine. I couldn't believe it. I don't. I don't understand it. Yeah. Did you get the spider? Is everybody okay? Did anybody die? Oh, the spider died. So, Grant, you will find them like this growing on a tree, like this, on an ash tree, sometimes on beech tree, but generally the ones that I see on a beech tree are smaller, right, like much smaller, like this size. Uh, they will, they range in size, like look, there's, there's, there's one there, there's another one there, look, look at the difference. So, basically, what you do is, well, a lot of the times you'll you have to get a knife in it pop them off because this is the fruit of the fungus because the tree the fungus is in the tree that's where it's living so and what happens is that you pop these bad boys off right and you get this uh these very very cool let me find a good one this one's quite good you get these very cool rings check that out so it's like a charcoal gray it's nearly silver right and what happens i'm not going to do it now because it 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 it, it, it glows you put one spark on that right and it just glows and it'll just continue glowing an ember will just glow in it right and you can blow on it to make it bigger and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger it's, it's like charcoal and then you can do put another one beside it and do the same so if you have a a, a bird's nest or if you you have like a a big bundle of dry grass or or, or, or or light bracken or something like that and grass mixed together with some twigs you can put that into it blow it and it'll turn into a fire and then you light your fire with that uh i'm not sure to do ed to do Well, Big M, I, I, I actually was, the place where I got the 181 from, I was up there the other day and I found a big, long, still bar. And I'm thinking that it was my uncle's for the saw. Now, there's no other saws there, so I, I, I don't really see it, whether it's for anything else. But I need to talk to my cousin about it so and see see what sort of a deal we can come up with. But uh, I'm hoping to... to, to, to um, but Chippy, you, you might have to chime in on this. Is there some sort of an adapter you can do that, that, that you can get to put a still bar on a on a husky saw? I don't know, guys. You should know, know more than that about me. Uh, thank you, Peppy. Uh, but, but, but let me see. So here is the crack, right? Ed came down on, on, on Monday for a wee visit, right? So Bruno could meet Hamish. Sunday was Easter Sunday, right? So, guys, if any of you are, no, you wouldn't know this because it hasn't come out yet. If on, on Red Branch Bushcraft, guys, I do a lot of stuff with Forstalika, right? Uh, and uh, Forstalika is a Finnish company that do a lot of army surplus and their own gear. And the gear is fantastic, right? Uh, oh, okay. So, Forstalika sent me a couple of pairs of socks and a, a pair of um, tactical style boots, right? Low Gore-Tex boots. Very, very nice. Very cool. They also sent me uh, four tins of uh, marching chocolate, I'm going to call it, right? So they sent me four tins 
that came in a tin the same as like you get boot polish in or about this size, you know, the big boot polish tins. And it was Easter Sunday. They were about that size, right? That size. And the 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 so it was Easter Sunday, so the house was full of chocolate. We were going away out for a meal. So we hid all the chocolate away and locked all the doors, right? And we left Bruno in the house with Cooter, as we do all the time, right? So Bruno sniffed out the chocolate, came upstairs, got the chocolate from up in here behind the computer we use our took each tin downstairs and opened them and ate four tins of caffeine chocolate ed that's exactly it Vosper. he ate four tins of sco ca cola four tins of caffeinated chocolate now this stuff is not the most delicious chocolate you're ever going to taste in the world uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, it is um, it is it tastes a bit like chocolate mixed with coffee grains, right? Uh, he is completely fine. Like Ed, you met him the next day. He was fine. He 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 has eaten a full box of of quality streets before. So he uh, he he got up. He was up every hour to go outside. He was like this big massive eyeballs I'd get up in the middle of the night he'd be like this just sitting looking at me shaking vibrating come on boy let's do it let's go out i know where that i know where that cat lives let's go get her now let's go do it uh and it was like jesus christ i i i was expecting a really adverse reaction uh <laughs> you didn't know dogs could fly like that either it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Absolutely. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, like, you, you can't watch him. You can't watch him. For 4.62. Four pounds of chocolate. Jesus Christ. Would it run? Hang on, is the four the four six two is a still, is it? I, I, I look and it's, it's not the first time he's done it. It really is not the first time he's done it. A 72 inch, yeah, I would say a 72 cc saw should probably be able to pull something like that. 462 looks like a decent saw. Jesus Christ, it's 1,200 pound. If a 462 is 1,200 pound, how much is a 500i? Do you know what I have been looking at at the minute, guys? I'll go up to the most expensive ones. On their cordless, uh, I I've I've been looking at pole saws. Um, I am thinking of getting MS four hundred, MS four six two. Five hundred eyes are on sale at the minute, guys. There is not much difference between a four six two, and and a five hundred i. Except in price, thirteen hundred pound. Bruno. Shh. Wow. Jesus Christ, chainsaws are expensive, aren't they? Ed, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. The girls, my, wait, my girls are going to me, oh, we should have went down and, and met them and all. And I was like, I told you, I told you, why didn't he? <laughs> they said next time, next time. Uh, oh, Bruno, you're all wet. You're all wet. Hang on. 
what what is this what is this what is first video i cannot believe that's that's not actually my first video i had a load of videos before that uh pappy but this is the only one that's left i don't know look at how small it is and everything tell me it's eight years ago guys and that was the start of my firewood journey he he, he is completely right uh There's three comments. There's three comments on it. My God Almighty. Look at me, old car. Oh, I love that car too. Oh, the car, the, the, the quality is shocking. 480p. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Guys, and I'm going to leave it there as well. Uh, um, I, I struggle to get firewood all the time. I I, 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 I scrimp. I, I, I go out and I ask people. I see a tree in the field and I go ask somebody if they need it cut up. That's, that's why I get firewood. I have a forest, but the wood is not good enough for for heating the house it's it's go for wood it's 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 black pine uh, i don't even know what the btus are ending up, are on it uh, it's really twisty it's hard to split when when you're cutting it it's got branch rings and you have to you know i just remove the branch rings and chuck them because it's just so much easier but uh it, it is every time it is hard no one wants to give it up. This is it. Yes, they begrudge it to you. You know, oh, how, how come how come he's allowed to cut that up? You know, so uh no, no 10 hour live stream. Oh imagine. <laughs> this is it, hey. You take until you get caught, don't you? Generally, what happens to me, guys, is that there is a, a, a tree that is so hard to get that, that nobody could be bothered, right? So I will do it because I want the firewood. My house is small enough that I can I, I can run it on about four to five cords a year. Uh, so and four to five cords to me, I think is about, I think I need about eight pickup truck loads of, of firewood. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, 10 cord, 10 cord permit a year. Yeah, 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 a wee battery one. Maybe I'll talk to Oregon about getting a battery, so maybe they, they might send me one to test. Uh, the only one, Oregon one I have seen is the one that has the, uh, the one that has the chain sharpener. You know, so, you know, the one where you press the button and it sharpens the chain. I don't know. 90 days. Oh, no. Well, see, this is the thing. So I have, I have DeWalt batteries, so... Uh, but what I found is that, uh, and I have five amp batteries, and what I found is that they, anything that has a lot of RPM, like if I use the, four, the, 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 the wee small grinder or anything like that for sanding, it eats the battery so quick, so quick. Come on, Peppy, you can do it. Guys. Yeah, I know. Four hundred to six hundred quid. Yeah. This is the problem. Everything is wet. Oh, 
Right, like 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 a truck, like a like a like a like a like a stone truck. That's a lot. So if we were looking at something like that, we'd be looking three times that amount at least. Uh, you 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 can buy a, a forty foot. We call them forty foot. Uh, well, we we call them trucks, but you can buy a forty foot lorry load for uh, used to be about fourteen hundred pound. God knows how much. Uh, did you get a petrol saw or a battery saw, Grant? Because I have a thing for Hyundai's. I do like their stuff. I I, I I did a lot of my brush cutting stuff on the channel with a Hyundai two-stroke brush cutter, and it was a beast of a machine. It was so good and cheap. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked at them. <laughs> Go for a peppy. I do, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I got the backpack blower because uh, because the 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 brush cutter was so good. And what I'm actually thinking of getting now is uh, a Hyundai pole saw, a 42 cc pole saw. Uh, but then I'm sort of thinking if I'm going to get a long reach pole saw, am I better off getting the multi tool? But then if I get the multi tool, it's got five things in it, and I only want two of them. I only want the long uh, the long reach saw. And the long reach hedge trimmer. So am I better just getting the long reach saw and then buying a hedge trimmer head? Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, they're decent and they, they have a really good warranty, really good warranty. When and I I abused the hell out of that brush cutter and I broke it and I didn't oil it, I didn't grease it properly and stuff like that. And every any time it broke, I contacted them and they sent me a new part. No, for three years, no problem. And I think one time they sent me a new part out of warranty as well. And they're like, yeah, no, what doesn't matter. So. And cheap, man. Cheap as chips. I think the long reach pole saw is about 120 quid. Do you know what I mean? And it has an extension thing. Uh, Vosper, I am probably going to use my Savota Jakari M. I know I'm training with the Berghaus one at the minute, but the idea behind my, my, my videos going into this is that it's it's a Varstalika video. So I'm going to be wearing everything from Varstalika, including the bag that they give me. And that's where the new runners, the new, uh, I got a pair of Accu Salvatica, Salvata, Salvatica somethings, Accu Tactical MIDI boots. They're really nice, really nice, Jesus Christ. But uh, so, I've been wearing them all week. Yeah, so uh, the idea it's 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 Varsalika are giving me the gear, so I'm going to wear the gear when I'm doing the walk, uh, and a and a lightweight chain. So yes, guys, thank you, everyone. Is guys, everyone is ten thousand subs, absolutely mental. Thank you, stay frosty, guys, and here's to the next ten thousand. See you in the comments on Sunday.